and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be my April empties and my next update for my one out, one in beauty project. So let's talk some trash, shall we? I don't actually have that many empties this month, so I'm just gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible. This should be pretty short. I do have some rather large bottles in here, so I'm gonna start with those to get them out of the way. So the first one is a shampoo. This is the Aveeno Plant Protein Blend Shampoo. It looks like this. I finished this up. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this. I felt like it was fine. It didn't do anything special. I bought it because it had protein in it, but my hair actually needs a bit more moisture than protein. So for me, this is not something that I will personally repurchase. Next, I have a body wash. This is the Olay Fresh Outlast B3 Complex Body Wash. I got the big pump. This is the 30 fluid ounce container and I like this a lot. Really nice scent. I've used this before. I could see myself repurchasing it again. Right now I am using up a little mini of the Sol de Janeiro uh, Brazilian foreplay shower cream which I got in like a set back in November or December whenever that Sephora sale was. So I'm using that up right now. Have not repurchased anything yet but this one is a favorite. I could definitely see myself repurchasing in the future. Then I have a face wash. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is my go-to morning cleanser. Now there is actually a little bit of this left. I decanted it into a smaller container to get rid of this big bottle. So this is not completely finished as of yet, so it has not been replaced. But I wanted to go ahead and get this bottle out of here <laughs> and stop it taking up room in my bucket. So this is my all time favorite morning face wash. I've talked about this at length. I will continue to repurchase as soon as I finish what is in my shower. Next, I have a hairspray. This is the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. It looks like this. I really liked the scent of this. It was really, really nice. It's a really nice scent and it did not leave my hair feeling uh, crunchy or anything like that. Very touchable hold. The problem is this is expensive and I went through it really quickly because I use it before I diffuse my hair and then I'd use it again after. And then of course any other time that I need hairspray. So I flew through this. It doesn't last very long. Although I really, really loved it. I could potentially see myself purchasing it again, but I am going to try to find something that has the feel that I want that is a little bit more cost effective because this one only lasted like a month and a half. Then I have a hair gel. This is the Love Your Curls or L-U-S, I think it's Love Yourself, but it's the Love Your Curls Irish Sea Moss Gel. It looks like this. I did cut it open, so there you go. It is cut open, so I used every bit of it. I was using this in combination with the L-U-S curl cream. Now I'm not using that right now. So I have actually moved on to a different gel that I'm hoping will work a little bit better with what I'm currently using. But when I go back to the LUS curl cream, I could definitely see myself purchasing this again because they do work very well in tandem. Next up, I have this Tarte Blemish Bully Acne Spot Treatment. It's just a little thing like this. Um, not my favorite. This is a salicylic acid spot treatment. I have not purchased anything new as of yet. If you have a spot treatment that you really, really like, feel free to tell me down below in the comments and I will check it out. It does not have to be salicylic acid, just whatever you like, I would be willing to listen to because I have not made up my mind about what I want to purchase. Although I do want some kind of spot treatment in my collection. I just am not sure what it is as of yet. Next, I used this La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5, very long name. I did cut it open so you can see I got every little bit out of it. This is very good for pretty much anything that has to do with skin sensitivity. So rashes, dryness, anything. So I did use this up and I have already purchased another one. I really like having this in my collection. I actually put it all over my face last night just to kind of soothe. My skin has really been going through it the last month or so and this has been very helpful. So would recommend 
Very, very nice product, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Then, as always, I have one of these Cosrx Acne Pimple Master Patches. This is just a single packet of it. I believe this came with 24 patches. I talk about this all the time. I have a couple more in my closet. I usually buy them in sets of like three or four packs at a time, and they are my favorite pimple patch. I will continue to repurchase. Next, I have a toothpaste. This is the Colgate Optic White Advanced Toothpaste. Not really anything special about it. It's a toothpaste. They had a buy one, get one half off sale when I picked this one up. So I have another one in my cabinet that I did not buy this year. So didn't replace it in terms of like my project. But obviously, I do have a toothpaste in my bathroom. It's kind of a necessity. Next up, I finished an ABH Brow Powder Duo. This is in the shade Ash Brown. There is the tiniest bit of product like over here, but it is not picking up on my brush at all. So I went ahead and replaced it with the same thing, which you will see in just a minute when I talk about the items I brought in. Then I have a couple of like miscellaneous items. So I had a wide tooth comb that I used to hang in my shower. However, it broke. I'm sure it just got old and snapped off. So this entire part came out. I will be replacing this at some point, but I have not done so yet. Right now I'm using my wet brush to help detangle, but I really do like a comb for that. So I will be repurchasing something. I just haven't done so yet. This one lasted a good long time though. So I figure... I can't be too sad about it. I also have a couple Flamingo Razor refills. Not much to say about that. They are what they are. There's nothing special about them. And then I have two spoilers for my upcoming Project Pan video. So I did finally finish the Olive and June Heal Balm Overnight Treatment. It looks like this. I actually didn't completely finish it, but as I was rolling the product out, it fell on the floor and it is incredibly messy. So of course it picked up anything and everything that was on the floor. So I went ahead and threw the remainder of it out. So it is done in terms of that. And then I also used up this Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. It's just this little mini. I really liked this. It was kind of like a spa experience, but it's very, very expensive, so I will not be repurchasing it. Okay, so now let's talk about the items that I brought into my collection in the month of April. As I mentioned, I did need to pick up a new brow powder. I picked up the same exact thing. So this is the ABH Brow Powder Duo in Ash Brown. It looks like this. You can see I already have a bit of a dent going. This retails for $23. I also picked up another one of the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5, which look like this. And this retails for $18.99. I also needed a new shampoo, so I decided to go with this one from AG Hair Care. This is their Curl Fresh Curl Enhancing Shampoo. It comes like this with a little pump at the top. It is kind of expensive as it retails for $34, but I have had really good luck with this brand in the past and I just wanted to give it a try. So far, so good. And I also picked up another hair gel again, as I already mentioned. This is the Wee Dad Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel, which comes in a big bottle like this, and this retails for $26. For my hairspray, I decided to go with a drugstore hairspray. This is the Pantene Flexible Hold Alcohol Free Hairspray. Looks like this. I actually do not like this at all. It leaves my hair very crunchy and it's just not my favorite. So I won't be repurchasing this, but obviously I will use it up. This was inexpensive. It does retail for $5.99. I'd also mention that my skin has been a little bit more temperamental the last month or so. So I did a little bit of research. My skin was very dry and dehydrated. I was dealing with some breakouts and a brand that was recommended a lot was Skin Fix. So I did pick up a moisturizer from them. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream. It looks like this. This is expensive as it retails for $54, but it has done some nice things for my skin, so I can't complain too much. Skin Fix is a brand that I've used in the past and had good luck with, so hopefully this will continue to help with the dryness and dehydration. I 
also was once again dealing with a lot of dryness on my neck right here. It's mostly cleared up and I think that is because I picked up this from Skin Fix. This is their Eczema Plus Dermatitis Relief Balm for face and body. It comes like this. It's got a pump. I don't have a diagnosis for like the dryness that I get on my neck, but I've had good luck with things that are geared toward eczema, that type of skin condition. So this one I picked up to add to the products that I'd already had because they were not helping on their own. And I do think that this really helped. So shouldn't have a problem using this up. This is also a little bit expensive as it retails for $45, but I'm kind of considering this more of like a health thing than a beauty thing. So it's worth it. And the final item I picked up was actually an eye pencil. This is from Pixie. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen. This is in brown oh sorry bronze beam there we go it looks like this I actually had not had a brown eye pencil and I wanted one that's just a little bit softer to kind of finish off the corner the outer corner of my eye looks this has been really nice it stays in place it wasn't terribly expensive as it retails for $12 and it's gonna last a really long time I actually had a black one of this same type that I loved so I know I'm gonna also love the brown all right, let's go ahead and talk math since that is part of my one out one in project. In April, I used up 14 items. You just saw them. It works out to a total of $247.88. And I brought in eight items for a total of $218.98. So I did spend more this month than I typically have in previous months, but I feel like overall they were still good purchases. So let's combine all of that together. So in 2024 so far, I have used up a total of 68 items, which works out to a total of $1,341.02. And I have brought in a total of 28 items, which works out to a total of $663.77. So doing well with this project. Again, the overall goal is just to take more items out of my collection than I bring in. The dollar amounts aren't really something that I'm necessarily tracking, although I do personally find it a little bit interesting. So that's why I'm adding those on here. And that's it, y'all. That is my April empties video and my update for my one out, one in beauty project. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.